All right, let's get into the uh, paper review this yeah. morning. That's the first where we are going to start. And we have joining us a broadcast journalist, Obani Akinwale. Good morning. It's nice to have you join us right now. Thank morning. you so much. All right, let's start with the punch newspaper. Uh, we're still on uh, Benue killings. Utam working on wrong advice, says Nieti Allah. Death toll hits 71, says Benue governor's spokesman. I mean, governors Dambazao, Audrogbe, meet proposed cattle colonies. And Atiku threatens to sue uh, the Northern Elders Forum chair for libel, demands 200 billion naira. Yeah, it's only in this country that you have uh, people that are called constituted authority fighting mm -hmm. against legal authorities. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so disheartening here, Mieti Ala secretary, telling a sitting governor constitutionally elected that is going the right way when a law was passed in the parliament. Uh, if we say we have a system of governance in the state where the state governor is the chief executive and you have an association registered by CAC uh, claiming that laws go, uh, enacted by a parliament, laws signed by a governor, it's a wrong advice. Mm -hmm. Then you can understand that uh, in my village they said uh, when a leaf is started dancing, what mm. is beating behind is, mm. is very, very great. So Absolutely. the Mayor Secretary will not be talking without having the powerful people behind him. I have to say that. And it's so unfortunate that our security agencies take such words lightly. If uh, the Secretary of the Council are saying a governor is taking the wrong step, it means that they are more to the highs. Mm. And it means that if the guy is properly handled, I will do proper debriefing, proper information gathering, we can understand that these criminals are doing it with the backings of I am mighty mm -hmm. in the system. And again, I bet though there are, there are contrary views, as I guess, what's the, uh, what's the view of the president? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you tend to believe sometimes that if you, hand, if you hand over all our security apparatus to a particular ethnic group in the country, that seems to be biased. Mm -hmm. There's a problem in River State. I did this into action. The military was there. Don Wani was captured. He was killed. Mm -hmm. The same thing happened in, uh, in Lagos State. You have a terrorist. Evans was struck down. Mm. He was killed. So what is taking us from getting who is killing them exactly. in Benway? Mm. This we is even taking remember ages. I, I pop, the, the lead, the, however we, yeah. the way the military We have a break dance down too in the southeast that, yeah. part of the country when they said IPOP was becoming a terrorist organization. Then mm. you ask. Uh, federal government come up and said they declare so so person as terrorist, mm. terrorist group. Mm. I bob. Then what are we waiting for to declare these criminals? Mm. Uh, I watched a, a, a video on TVC where you see a small boy says after killing people they drink their blood and you, see, you can see the way the boy was arranging guns. Mm. So mm. it's obvious that these guys are hiding criminals and it takes nothing from the government. Okay. Uh, you could imagine you have a chief of uh, a chief of army staff in person of our present interior minister Damba Zu as a DMI officer. So are you telling me that the DNA will not know who and who is behind these killings? Yeah. Mm. So it, it, it's so unfortunate. It's, it's so unfortunate. Okay, we, we, have, we have one interesting headline here. Federal government appoints Jega, Okebukola, others to review university systems. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. If you look at the pedigree of Jega, apart from the fact that he was an INEC boss, mm. he's a VC of his university, mm -hmm. and also he was an ASU president. So mm. you could see that university agitation, research, funding, uh, how to bring Nigerian University up, the guy has been a frontliner when it comes to that. And Okebu Kola was the former secretary of NUC Thanks. where we have a university well ranked. And after he has left that position, he has been empowering most state universities, most private universities as a board of governing council. So if we have people like that trying to see how we can revamp our educational system, and especially university education, which is now becoming generally certificate issuing exactly. organization, mm -hmm. then I think we are getting it right. Mm, okay. Right. Well, those are so from the punch now. Okay. So we'll go to the Nation newspaper. And the major story is still on the, uh, the sand incidents in Benway State. Government bans open grazing to stop killings by headsmen. Governors offer land for cattle colonies. 40,000 displaced in Benway. Women protest. Of course, there was a protest yesterday by some women uh, prevailing on uh, the wife of the president to uh, tell her husband to act on the issue. I'm sorry, I, I, I want to say at this point in time that the presidency is insincere with what is happening in Benway. And mm. I sympathize with the governor of Benway State. I empathize with over there. Uh, you could remember vividly during the IPOB period, federal government declared them as a terrorist organization and they banned everything called IPOB. Even mm. state said, 
we don't want ranching. We mm -hmm. don't want open grazing. It stops the government from not saying, mm. ban these things and make sure that anybody found doing this thing are apprehended and put behind the bus. Indeed. But reality is the government is not doing that. It's okay. so unfortunate. Okay, so we'll go to another story now. Foreign reserve, reserves rise to $40.4 billion. CBN injects $120 million into Forex market. Very good for the Yeah, it's good country. for the country. And again, we'll look at what is happening in Iran. Uh, the price of oil is going up. Mm -hmm. If you look at what is happening in Libya, so the supply, Nigeria is burning light, mm -hmm. less carbon. And again, we are trying to gradually move from a mono economy where we have, last year we saved about $600 million from rice importation. Mm -hmm. The government is looking at exporting about 1,400 1, tons of yam, yam timber this year. This year. Mm -hmm. So if we continue to do this, we stop, we, we, we stop from an import-driven economy to an export-driven economy. It mm -hmm. is good for the system. Okay, so uh, quickly, uh, are your targets 112 billion Naira IGR to fund 2018 budget. Yes, this uh, is what uh, many have been calling for, that states need to be uh, independent in generating their funds. The most unfortunate thing is that all those state governments and outside legal states are generating their IGR through the workers. Mm. And the unfortunate thing is that these workers are being hold or they're being paid exactly. with their salaries. So, so if, when you don't pay if, salaries, if, you, if don't you don't generate money. You don't money. generate money. And again, <laughs> the little you are paying them, you are taking it from land use charge, you are mm. taking from PE and all those things. So if they are going to diversify looking into hard grade, they have borders in Ohio State that span about two or three countries. They have good land for grazing and all those things. Mm -hmm. It will be better. But if it's going to be the same already hard labor workers, it's so unfortunate. Mm. Okay. All right, the Vanguard newspaper this morning, uh, still the Benway, Benway issues, uh, Benway killings. We've not done enough for herdsmen. Federal government is saying that this was, uh, a practice, this was directly the words from uh, the Minister of Agriculture, mm. uh, Chief Aldrogbe, when he said that a lot was done for cocoa farmers, a lot was done for cotton farmers, granite farmers, rice and farmers. Uh, rice farmers mm. in the recent times. But nothing really, for the past 50 years, nothing really has been done yeah. for for herdsmen. I'm disappointed to hear that from the Minister for Agriculture in person of Chivalu. He's a respected Nigerian. Mm. And you could recall about two, three years ago, he mentioned that why do you have this nomadism prevalent in North Central Nigeria? It's because we have the best grass. So people come from Mali, from other Western African countries mm -hmm. to grace our farm. So if he's saying they have not done enough, that's the feeling on his part. And I keep saying it. People that work in this government need to stop talking. They need to start working because most time what they say, they goof. Mm. You tell you are not work, we have not done enough. Who is in charge of that? And again, it's so unfortunate that it's also a Benway man. man. And for yeah, you to I'm say so you are so not doing enough when you know this thing has been a perennial problem. When Susan was there, they were saying they were Susan boys, they were doing this, they were doing that. He has left there. He's there. The Senate president is from Benway State. So if he's saying that, it's so unfortunate and it shows that we are not here, we don't have serious minded Minister. people mm. speaking for this government. Mm. All right, we have uh, Omoku uh, Amechi on special broadcast blames Wiki for insecurity in River State. It seems the, the rivalry between the governor and the Minister of Transport is mm -hmm. still on in mm -hmm. River State. Yeah, uh, Amechi has every he has the bragging rights. Why was there? He bought helicopters, people were saying he wasted money, but you give it to him that the security level in River was high. Mm -hmm. And Wiki, too, you can't eat your cake and have it. Why you are asked, we are calling for a removal of SARS. You are now calling back a federal government to come and fortify the security. <laughs> so <laughs> if you have told them to remove the lawful agencies, unlawful one will take over the street. <laughs> so Amit has every bargain right to say that he has not done enough. There can never be vacuum in security. No way. Okay. Mm. Well, that's that from uh, the uh, Vanganese people now. Okay, so we go to this day. Uh, Obasanjo, it's not yet ripe to say if I will support Buhari for second term. Blame Sarah Dua for dismantling anti-corruption structures. Uh, Baba sometimes an apostle. <laughs> we don't know whether apostle of doom or apostle of grace. We don't know. But I sincerely yours, if we have to be sincere with ourselves, yeah. except this government brings surprises before June, there is nothing to actually campaign for because everything has been just motion without movement. It just been noise, noise, noise here and there. We will do this, we will do this. We don't want to be anyone to do. We want to see what you have done. But that's what you, you would think, really. But then, knowing this country very well, uh, by mid-year or so, you, you could start hearing some people say some things that you could be, even be surprised that. But this person was saying something else in the, at the beginning of the year. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I always tell colleagues of mine, I said, uh, I'm sorry to use the word that sometimes engineers are gullible. You will be mm -hmm. surprised that by June, if a bag of rice has of 5,000, Dangote petrochemical is coming, and you have mm. a lot of fuel for fertilizer. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You have a little petrol at 130. Mm. You'll be shocked that the most critical of this government are the ones that will carry the banner. Mm. But I think these are changing because this information world, it, it may be too difficult to sway people because. Reality is that there is no money in circulation. People are people are hungry and they're exactly. hungry. Mm. Oh, and they're exactly. hungry. Yeah. Okay, let's see how it goes. Anyway, court refuses AGF's application to stop Senate probe or minor. Uh, 
It's yeah. another display of incompetence on part of this government. Mm -hmm. Somebody was sacked for doing what? AGF was saying he doesn't know when he was recalled. Mm -hmm. The same AGF is going to call that he should not prove. So <laughs> who is hiding what? Who is saying what? It's part of incompetence in part of people that, mm -hmm. that run this government. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm so ashamed that we already just have a lot of people that they are not supposed to be chairman of local government mm -hmm. running as minister in this cabinet. Mm -hmm. So okay. All right. So I think this is about the stories uh, not touched before on the front mm -hmm. page of this day. Okay. Daily Sun, the last but not the least here, Mina. Federal government moves to stop Senate probe. Uh, AGF's bid for court uh, injunction fails. Well, you just talked about this, mm -hmm. really showing high level of inconsistency by uh, government officials. Army declares manhunt for Boko Haram factional leader, insists Shekau no longer threat. The same Shekau thing. is no longer a threat, but people thing. are still dying from bombing. Uh, the Aladi Lai Mohammed said they have defeated Boko Haram. Mm. Again, the English team that they have technically degraded. Mm -hmm. exactly. Now, initially, uh, our, our chief of army staff says he was is fatally wounded. Mm -hmm. Now they have defeated. So mm -hmm. you see that uh, we only we only have different form of English. And people later, when they started attacking, said it was the last kick of a dying, dying horse. Dying horse. <laughs> last kick of that's, a dying that's, horse. That's why that's statement. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so funny that this government people just like talking. Mm -hmm. I think they, they enjoy the cameras or they enjoy the press, and mm -hmm. everybody wants to show that they are doing one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. All right, federal government makes you turn on plan to set up ranches, opts for cattle colonies, says further tax won't be tolerated. Well, that's a statement there. The we have the uh, Benue killings. Governor Otom declares three-day mourning uh, in Benue following uh, those who died. And then Don Wani, Wiki proposes death sentence for cultism, a kidnapping in the state. How? Mm -hmm. When Chief Ateke Atom is the king of a town, mm -hmm. how do you propose that? That is never done. And again, when the Zephyr government proposed colonies instead of ranches, if the uh, the the S men are asking for this and government is trying it's to play their way. Mm. I, I keep asking, is this an egalitarian society? Mm. Are we all equal? equal. That's 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 mm. it. It brings so to mind again so, so animal farm. It, all animals are equal, some are more some equal. Are more equal. So the S are more equal than the Boko Haram <laughs> or the Ipoh. Because mm -hmm. the point there is that the, the, the is a, some analysts have said that this cattle owners is a private business. Mm. Yes. So allow the people, the, 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 in fact, Nigeria runs a mixed economy mm. where if you have your own personal business, you can run it to any extent. All our, all our, our former military leaders, our current leaders, all of them mm. are members of Mieti Allah because they all look at us. And Fine. You know so, so it shouldn't works. be a big deal mm. to, get to, to buy a plot of say, land. Boys, do this. You can do, imagine what the guy said. He said, uh, the earth men attack the life of guards, mm. mm. meaning that you are the people that want to stop us from doing what we normally do. Mm. Exactly. What we can do is to take it of you. Exactly. And we have a free movement. And we have Obiano to herdsmen. We won't condone arms bearing. Mm. Story. That's for, for Anambra State. As, as Ben is not condoning it, as if <laughs> it is not condoning it, as, as it's happening. You remember what happened to Falai? We thought it was a joke. They mm -hmm. invaded his farm. They kidnapped, kidnapped him. Yeah, exactly. It happened in the kitty. Mm. It's happening like virtually everywhere. Every, so Obiano is just already crying. So that by the time it happens, it will still prove that part of argument that government will mention. And you know. Anambra, Enugun, Benue, mm. they have common border. Of course. Mm. And these are mm. where you have the great pastures, you have very nourishing pastures that these are nomadics, they come into mm -hmm. and they, graze the, they put the animals and all those things. So what we are saying in every day, if we understand that these things are available in these areas, you, are, you say you want to do ranching, why don't you look for these specimens? They are not from heaven. Mm. Take these specimens, culture them, grow them in areas where these guys are, or let the government make a pronouncement. It's so unfortunate that since the killing by this ex men there has not been affirmative promotion from the government, mm. either as a minister of information or by the president himself that mm. say this one Tom killing has to stop. stop. These guys are criminals. Exactly. But it's so unfortunate. Well, the Minister of Agriculture, Audubon, has said that the Nigerian cattle are, the, are one of the most malnourished in the world mm. because they just go around and eat grass. Eat grass. Mm. They're not fed with the right food mm -hmm. and, and they can't produce the right milk. Mm -hmm. There are issues of height and skin that can be gotten. When you get these things, sometimes they're not of, of the highest quality sure. because they're not eating well. So why are they, why are they, if it's, I agree to all what he said, why are the admins now killing people in their villages? Mm. If, the, if the nourishment is not good enough, why are they able to vacate their villages? Because what they are doing is just tactical cannibalism. You go to a village, you kill everybody there, and before you know it, that, that generation will be forgotten completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if that areas are not nourishing, they are not producing enough milk, then why do we have the tannery in Kanosi working? Where are they getting the skins? So these are questions we need to ask. So what, what I keep saying is that you and I know how to when he was the chairman of PDP. Adrug was part of the main manifesto for APC. And when he became the minister, we know what he rolled out as the plan for the agri sector. Why are we now saying this, this, and that? And if this, if this thing is not so, so, so important, 
he mentioned himself that the cattle, the, the nomadics moved from Mali, from, from West Africa mm. to Nigeria to come and do what? Mm. Why are they not staying back where they are? Because we have good vegetation, we have good weather in this part of the country. Yeah. Obani Akinwale, thank you very much for thank your you. analysis at Play this time on Newspaper Review. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah.